Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Thomas Beck, and I'm a medical student here at Stanford. And I just want to first thank the SUMA Organizing Committee for inviting me to speak with you all today. Today, I'm going to share with you a little bit about my life journey. I'm a 33-year-old medical student, so my journey to Stanford has been long but fulfilling. So my passion for medicine started the summer of 2007, the first summer that I've spent away from my home of Las Vegas. I decided to go to college on the East Coast in Philadelphia. At the time, I did not have a clear idea of what I wanted for my career. I grew up with my mom who immigrated from Taiwan and did not have a high school degree. My father was an African-American physician but passed away when I was five years old. I did not have the privilege of getting to know him, but his legacy did give me the vision that becoming a physician was possible. Although my mom did not graduate high school, she is the most passionate and driven person I know. Her priority was my brother and me and making sure we had the opportunity to succeed in life. Even though we didn't have much money, she made sure to use what she had for our education. Looking back, it was hard for me at the time to appreciate what the sacrifices she made for the sake of, a, for, of my brother and me, but I now realize her efforts are part of the reason why I'm speaking to you today. So growing up, I part participated in everything from musical theater to playing football. However, I never really felt passionate about anything I had done thus far. So if you're in high school and are worried about not knowing what you're passionate about yet, don't worry. Things turn out just fine for me as you'll hear in the rest of my talk. So when I got to college, I decided that I'd start out with pursuing the pre-med curriculum, mostly to follow in my father's footsteps. I spent my freshman year taking general chemistry and calculus, as well as courses in architecture, religion, and philosophy. I did poorly in my chemistry course, but enjoyed my exploration in the subjects that I was never exposed to before. Although I did not do well in my pre-med courses, my success in the humanities made me realize that there are more possibilities than just medicine. I found myself at the end of freshman year less sure about where I would end up in my career, but with an open mind. The summer of 2007 changed my life forever. It's cliche for people to say, follow your passions and they will lead you to where you need to be. And before this summer, I was very skeptical of people who would say that. I thought it was something people just said when they didn't have any good advice to offer. I soon found out that I was very wrong. That summer, I needed a summer job to support myself and decided to apply to an immunology lab on campus. At the time, I never considered research as a possible career path. I knew research existed, but I had the naive idea that most of what needs to be known is already known and didn't find it intriguing. I was very wrong about this too. I soon found out there is a lot we don't know and I could be someone who makes a discovery that could add to our body of knowledge. When I came to that realization, I was hooked I could not step away from the lab. I went in day and night to do experiments and read the latest papers on immunology. My mentor was also very supportive and gave me the independence to carry out my own investigations, even though I had little experience and was a freshman. That summer, I knew with a capital K that I had found something that I was passionate about. The feeling is hard to describe, but you know it when it happens. This passion for biomedical research continued through my time in college. I also decided to continue exploring the humanities by taking up a minor in philosophy. And I could say for the first time in my life that I was following my passions. Senior year came and I began to realize that I needed to make a decision on what my next step would be. I knew I couldn't just be a college student forever doing research but I wanted to continue following my passion for research. I knew that it was possible to get an MD PhD and be a physician researcher, but at that time, that was not as appealing as doing a PhD and having as much time as I wanted in the lab. So I decided to get a PhD in immunology, 
and was able to get into a good program. However, I soon found out that research at a major research institution is very different than at a small college. In college, research was something I had a passion for, but was not my only focus. During the PhD, research became my only focus and full-time job. The PhD process was grueling but fulfilling, and it is still to this day one of the most difficult things I've done. However, without a passion for research, it would have been very difficult for me to complete the PhD. So after my PhD, I did a short postdoc and decided to do what I did when I started college and opened my mind. During my postdoc, I decided to get involved in medical innovation and translational research. That feeling that I described before came back. I got hooked on doing research and developing tools that directly contributed to improving the lives of other people. I decided to follow my passion again and realized that the best next step for me was to attend medical school. I just turned 33 and I'm a second year medical student at Stanford. That would make me a non-traditional medical student according to admissions. However, maybe the non-traditional path should be the traditional way. Maybe it shouldn't take as long as I took, but taking time to really understand what drives you is not time wasted. Similar to college, I've kept an open mind at Stanford. I spent my first year at Stanford exploring subjects that I've never been exposed to, be to before, from a class where we learned to hone the powerful skill of observation by describing paintings in our art museum to, lear to learning how computer science can be used to solve problems in healthcare and beyond. These experiences, along with my PhD in medical studies, have allowed me to realize my dream of creating healthcare innovations that will help improve the lives of people that suffer from chronic diseases. My long-term plan is to be a physician scientist where I can have a significant impact on the lives of patients on an individual basis and also have a global impact through the development of healthcare innovations in my lab. In the future, I will continue being open to new experiences and remembering the passions that drive me because those are what got me to this point. So if you take anything away from my talk today, just remember that there will always be times where you will feel uncertain about what your future holds. During those times, remember what drives you and be open to new experiences and opportunities. They will serve as your compass for deciding what your next step will be. Thank you.